Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a really late review of the Patrick Ta Major Headlines Blush Palette. If I'm being honest with you guys, this has been sitting in my collection collecting dust since the day I bought it. Um, not by choice, but more so I haven't had time to hop on camera and talk about it and I knew I wanted to do that first. Uh, before like dirtying it up and like digging into this thing, I really wanted to talk about it and show it off and all of that. But I'm finally going to put this on my face. I want to talk to you guys about it swatch it you know the usual rundown but this is kind of like more impromptu than my typical reviews so Patrick Ta is pretty poppin right now I would say that his makeup is very on trend and this is no exception I honestly didn't see this coming because I know that the individual major headlines blushes have been sold out and very popular so I was surprised to see a palette with three of them and I'm pretty sure all three of these shades that are in this palette are new and exclusive to the palette, at least for now. The availability of this comes and goes, but I had luck in store at my Sephora. It was like on an end cap, but I ordered it and then picked it up in store. But anyways, this is actually in stock right now as I'm filming this video, so perfect if you guys haven't got your hands on it yet and you end up wanting it. So when I first saw this and saw the price and everything, I thought that I was getting an incredible deal because for $58 you're getting three of, in my mind, the full-size blush duos, but they're actually small in this palette which makes sense that's usually how it is with palettes like this so they are a little bit smaller I would have to like do math and figure out if it's actually a deal I, I'm sure it's some type of deal and it's nice to have everything in one palette let me just look for you guys because I have the she's so LA duo that was like super super TikTok famous and this is what it looks like it is bigger visibly uh, the powders are so this is like so hard to see in this lighting. The cream is six grams and the powder is four grams. So in comparison, in this palette, the creams are each three grams and the powders I think are 3.3 grams. So it is a lot less product individually in this palette. So what I have on my face right now is the Maybelline Tinted Moisturizer, the Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. It's kind of really popular right now too. It's only the second time I've worn it. I like it. And a little bit of the Fit Me Concealer and then some Hourglass Powder. Um, so I do have like a very faint layer of powder if anything goes wrong. I don't know. That's my base. So the cool thing about Patrick Ta blushes is that you're actually supposed to put the powder down first and then top it with the cream to kind of give you like that dewy, like luminous type finish. And I love that because I'm all about the cream products. Like I'm fine using them individually, but a lot of times powder can give you more of a punch. So the shades in here are She's a Doll, which is kind of like the bright pink. She's Vibrant, which is more of like a corally color, kind of like hottish coral. I don't know. I'm bad at describing. And then She's Baked, which is a deeper shade, a little bit more similar to She's So LA, which I already have. Um, I kind of think all of these are going to look good in their own way. It has a beautiful mirror. It's a reflective packaging, which for me is kind of hard because I feel like I'm always blinding people. They're hard to take pictures of, but they're beautiful in your own collection. It does have the little flip up protector for the creams, which I really appreciate. And I guess I just have to decide what I want to wear today. But first, let's give a swatch of each of these. So this is She's a Doll Powder. And there is the cream, just with a finger. They are super, super pigmented. There is the powder. And the cream for She's Vibrant. For my skin tone, I could probably use these as bronzers. There's the powder and the cream for She's Baked. I think just to start, I'm just gonna do She's Vibrant because that one's the most different for me. So we'll do that. We will start with the powder and then top it with cream and see if we can like make it dewy. Uh, and I definitely think all three are gonna be beautiful, but that's what I'm gonna do today because I'm a little bit more familiar with the deeper one because I have She's So LA, and I don't know, I just, I'm feeling this middle shade, so let's do it. I have two brushes. I have a big fluffy that I'm gonna use for the powder. This is from Sigma. This is the Sigma blush brush, and this was out of the 
Bloom and Glow, I think, was the set. And then I have the Kabuki Air, which is what I always use for cream blushes, cream products of any kind. Um, these are going to be my brushes of the day. So we will go in first with the powder. And I'm also just going to like show you guys how I typically do my blush. You can see lots and lots of pigment with just a couple little gentle presses into the pan. I do like to tap off just so that I don't make any mistakes. We're just going to go into the face kind of directly under the eye. I can see immediately we're, we're getting color, we're getting warmth. Just giving it a little bit of blend. I mean, this is a lot of color I'm putting on my face, so a little does go a long way, but I'm just going to diffuse it a little bit. I might have put it a little low for my face shape, but like let's not scrutinize like everybody does makeup differently I know I could have gone a little higher I added a lot and like this brush is big so leave me alone okay I'm not like hip with the new makeup trends but anyways this color is stunning she's happy she's warm she's excited and then she's dull <laughs> oh I love that color so far I love that I can just tap right into the powder and not worry about the cream getting powder in it either because the little door the brush is getting full so I'm gonna tap it off again I'm gonna do the same thing over here I'm doing tapping over here because that's my typical technique again I'm kind of like dusting off the brush on my lap and then I'm gonna go in and diffuse it a little bit I feel like I put a lot more on this side of my face like I am blushed up I am gonna go in with the matching cream for this shade and go over top with the f80 air from Sigma I am NOT gonna take as much as I took for the powder because a little goes a long way I like to kind of swirl around until the tips just have a teensy bit of product and then I am gonna test it on the back of my hand because I want to make sure yeah so there's kind of a lot of pigment there so I'm going to buff it out on the back of my hand first and I think it's gonna blend out fine I think that was a good amount see how easily it is like I can just diffuse that color so easily and it just leaves a sheen so I don't think I have to worry about picking up too much and I'm gonna go along the cheekbone tapping in the cream on top of the powder and it is adding a sheen but it's not anything that's like too too shiny for sure it's adding a little bit more color so my blush is going to last all day doing the same thing over here just tap tapping for whatever reason this side of my face just is eating up the blush like this side is so pigmented I mean this is like the most blush you're ever gonna see me wear but I really wanted to try to demo this I love it I love the color I love the sheen I think I've got way too much over on this side of my face though so I'm gonna play around with my foundation brush from earlier go into the side of the nose make sure that the blush isn't too close to my nose I mean I like the look I feel like it's very dollish but it's a lot and I am going out to buy supplies for Thanksgiving I'm doing some spinach and artichoke dip for an appetizer and I'm doing like a little cranberry dessert that I saw on TikTok um, so since I am going in public I'm gonna dull this out a little with this empty powder brush what I really love about this product and a lot of cream products but this one in particular because it's cream and powder it's easily manipulated so you can move it around with other brushes you can mix it with other products and it's not going to look streaky or like patchy or muddy or anything like that like I'm beating up my face with multiple brushes and all it's doing is just kindly diffusing I cannot wait to use the deeper shade for like the holiday meals and stuff around Christmas because I love having like that warm glow to the skin. I'm self tanned right now so right now I like to go for like more of a pop of color but when I'm more pale I want to be like warm and toasty and neutral and that's what I'm looking forward to. So that's where I'm going to leave you guys for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me and watching my little blush journey. I'm very happy with the way this looks. I'm going to go do my Thanksgiving errands now. Uh, I feel warm and holiday day e and just in a good mood blush puts me in a good mood so this is approved by me I will drop it in the description box if you guys want to shop it for yourself like I said as I'm filming this video it's available but I don't know when I'm gonna have the time to edit this 
story of my life right now but I hope you guys have or had a great Thanksgiving depending on when this goes up I love you guys so much thank you for watching and subscribing and hopefully I see you very soon in my next video bye guys